Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which, which, which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Now, here's something for those who, uh, have, if you ever had to, to, to um, deal with dispensationalists, and if you don't know what that is, you know, you're, you're better off not knowing what that is. But anyway, for those who have to deal with it, they'll oftentimes say, oh, no, 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 you can't confuse the saved with the elect. The elect is Israel, the saved are you and I in this dispensation, but the elect, any time the Bible's talking about the elect, it's talking about Israel. Well, look what it says in verse 7. Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it. So is the election Israel or those who came to Christ by faith? It's those who came to Christ by faith and with the rest were blinded. And so that's a huge problem for the dispensationalists who teach that the Jews are the election that they are the elect of God, that that's what it's talking about, because they'll say, when he comes to gather his elect, the four winds in Matthew 24, right? Oh, it says elect, that means Jews. Well, wait a minute, Israel is not the elect. They did not come by faith. Who's the elect? Those who came by faith. He says, for I speak to you, who? Are you there? Verse 13, Gentiles. Insomuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify in mine office. So when he says, Israel hath not obtained it, but the election hath, and in verse 13 you say, well, who's, he's probably talking to a, a small sect of Jews. No, he's talking to you Gentiles. He just, Paul, just called the Gentiles the election of God. You know, in that case, Paul would get kicked out of most independent fundamental Baptist churches. Man, what, 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 a, what consistency there is in the word of God when you get your doctrine lined up.